Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have some new updates to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. New website, domain names have been registered. It's like the third one in the past week, pointing us towards some more information very, very soon for the Generation 9 games. We also have some more theories to take a look at, plenty of stuff to cover. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we mentioned in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, a new website domain name has been registered once again for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but there's just so many new domain names being registered for these games. Obviously, just getting loads of stuff ready for when the next trailer drops. We've got pre-order, kind of pre-reservation thingies, whatever you want to call it, happening on the 4th of August. So all of this is just kind of getting ready for that. But very, very likely, 99% sure we're going to be getting a trailer um, next week now, just simply because of all this stuff going on in the background. I know we've been saying that for the past month, but we actually have solidified evidence to suggest it. But anyway, this was posted by Poke Experto. So new domain of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet published on the official website of Pokemon in Japan. So this time it's PokemonSVLive.Pokemon.co.jp. It could be a face-to-face -face demo or something similar. Um, so again, just more things getting ready for this next information drop for the Generation 9 games. But again, this is like the third website domain that they've been just kind of dropped in the past week. Uh, we have Soul Silver Art saying, a future Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 24-hour live stream teaser, anyone, in, re in, in, in regards to this. I mean, I wouldn't be mad. Like, I... I I understand that like people were a little bit annoyed because all we got in the last 24 hour live stream was a Galarian Ponytail, but I think it was just fun to kind of like watch it as a community. Like everyone was just had like the, for the first couple of hours when we didn't really know what was going on, everyone's eyes were just glued um, to the Glimwood Tangle live stream. And I think it was just a really cool like community thing. Um, I understand like halfway through people realized that we were just barely getting anything, but like the small updates that we got throughout it, um, was really cool. So, I mean, I feel like if they did it again, they'd probably reveal a couple of more Pokemon than just one regional form. But, I mean, I wouldn't be against them doing it again. I thought it was a really cool thing. And, uh, yeah, definitely be down for them to, to do another one. But, yeah, another domain name has been registered. We also have this to go over as well. Um, and this has kind of been making the rounds on the internet. People have been posting it saying that this is confirmation that we're getting news and stuff. But it isn't. Um, it is these kind of like images that were dropped on, um, I think it was like the Japanese website or something like that. But any, anyway, we've got Amiya Japan saying, okay, Japanese Pokemon Center official website created a featured page for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet yesterday. It says new information for reservation is coming soon. Um, so this was apparently like the translation or something like that. But then we had Poki Sutami kind of, um, getting the correct translation out there saying, please note, Unless my eyes are missing something big, there is no promise here for new information. It's talking about pre-order dates, mail magazines, etc. And a new web page that are preparing probably for pre-orders. There could be info here, but it's not promised. And then we have Kilio saying, yep, it just says to subscribe to a newsletter for new information about pre-orders. Uh, yeah, basically sign up and you'll get a newsletter when pre-orders start. Uh, they send out so many newsletters. A promise of new information when that's not the wording could set people up for depression. Let's hope Game Freak comes through and actually delivers the obvious trailer. Uh, and again, just more responses here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, um, don't they release a new trailer along with pre-order bonuses and stuff? Yep, that's likely what they'll do. It's a reasonable expectation, but they did not promise it. With how they have handled the promotion cycle so far, even though a trailer drop with pre-orders st um, starting sounds obvious, I wouldn't put it past Game Freak to just not. But yeah, basically, um, I mean, when you take the, the likeliness of it, like when they're dropping pre-order stuff, they're going to like drop a new trailer with it just to promote it. But it's just not guaranteed. But again, with all of this um, kind of going on in the background and stuff, it's just kind of pushing us towards it actually happening. Now, again, I've been saying it for like the last week or so that we're not going to get a trailer in July. It's going to be the first week of August. I still stand by that. I think that is going to be the situation. Um, and I think it is going to be like next Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, potentially Thursday when the pre-orders actually start, but I think Tuesday or Wednesday, definitely. And I know we've been saying that for a long time, but again, it makes sense. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to go over that just so there wasn't like um, information going around that people were suggesting that we were definitely getting it. Like we're very likely to, but it's just like, no, it's not confirmed. Uh, and then we have some theories to go over by light here. Some really cool theories to take a look at. So, uh, hi guys, I'm going to bring you a theory that I thought about the connection that PDY can have with Galar and Kalos. 
Of course, there are only uh, speculations and theories. The last word will always be given by the Pokemon company. Let's start. I will not try to be ultra detailed. So let's go back 20,000 years. Eternatus, an alien crystal Pokemon, crashes in Galar and begins to eradicate Pokemon uh, or irradiate Pokemon energy in the roots of the Earth in what we would later call Dynamax energy. This would trigger an event in Galar 3,000 years of the Pokemon Sword and Shield games called the Black Knight. A black storm that completely covered Galar, caused by Eternatus, almost wiped out the region completely. Thanks to two princess, uh, princes, the legends tell they were not human, but they were Pokemon, which are Zacian and Zamazenta. Now let's place ourselves in Kalos 3,000 years ago. There was a great war between regions, and Pokemons and AZ uh, put an end to it by creating a destructive weapon made of crystal that generated eternal energy with Pokemon. Mega stones are believed to be nothing more than evolutionary stones that were ir irradiated by the light fire by AZ's ultimate weapon. You can see in the image of the anime that the shockwave of the weapon reaches Galar on a part not yet seen that would be Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And now I will make the connection here. So, it seems that there is an energy field wrapped around Kalos, Galar and the new Scarlet and Violet region. Of course, Scarlet and Violet's region is bordering um, Kalos because obviously Portugal, Spain, right next to France in the actual globe. So that's why they're like bordering it. So that's why there would be in like the same kind of impact blast. And as always, for the same pattern, 3,000 years ago, a war of conflict, a weapon, heroes, the end, and something very particular, crystals. So these are all obviously the different crystal kind of things that we've had throughout um, different games and stuff. And to all this, uh, a profit is taken, the mega evolutions, the Dynamax phenomena, and now we will see a phenomena that will crystallize our Pokemon. So here, I leave you some questions. In somehow everything connected, do you think there will be a past war in the new gen? Any further info is appreciated. Also, like some retweets. I hope you enjoyed the theory. Everything seems really connected in those regions. So yeah, this massive war in Kalos that happened, um, and this secret weapon that like kind of obviously stopped it and everything, and, and created like mega evolutions and all this dynamic stuff and whatever. Um, it could be the reason that behind the gimmick in Gen Nine, and maybe they are just building up to like this war or something, or maybe we get a game in the future where um, we actually. You know, we do go back in time and we see this Pokemon War. Or maybe it's like a spin-off game. I feel like they've gone into so much information about this. Well, they, they haven't, but obviously there's, they've referenced this war so many times. They need to go into detail about it. And I think a really cool spin-off Pokemon game would be really, really cool to see for um for this. But again, there might be some information about the Great War in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as well. Because obviously Kalos is right next to Paldea. Or, I'm going to say Paldea because that's like what the region name is. But that's obviously the one for Scarlet and Violet. Anyway, we have another theory to go over as well about the uh, the crystal kind of salt tweet um, by Riddler Koo. So uh, Light here once again saying, Today Riddler Koo posted a tweet, CUSO4, copper sulfate, also known as superic sulfate, is a crystalline solid, can be transformed into the big blue crystal with various processes. I think he is trying to show us something about the new gimmick. Crystals are also shown in the first trailer. Um, so again, we, we kind of went over this a little bit. Um, previously, but basically this is kind of another connection to Kalos here. So you might not remember, but we have seen these types of crystals around the last games, Kalos and Galar. Remember, they are near each other. What if we have to recollect crystals in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and with the technology of this new region, we can crystallize our Pokemon uh, as shown to get a power-up. So obviously, um, this is some more like crystal stuff here in, in um, I can't remember what the mine is called. Um, in Kalos, but here we have it again in Galar, more crystals kind of on the side and everything. Uh, and then this is obviously the crystallized images that were leaked for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. This is the new gimmick and stuff, and then this was obviously Quaxley's evolution here at the top. And then he goes on to say, imagine you start the game, pick Quaxley, then after some time, Nimona gives you the new gimmick with the blue crystal of Quaxley, then you have to explore the world to get all of them. Something similar happened in Alola with the Z crystals or in Kalos with Mega Evolutions. Then goes on to say, the pattern is the following in all games. Get, collect, improve, learn, and evolve. Of course, this gimmick will have uh, particularities depending on which Pokemon changing appearance. A Sudowoodo and Teddy Ursa. Who said he told us about the gimmick? It's inside the poll. So, these are past light riddles and stuff like that. Obviously, we have Teddy Ursa there uh, and Sudowoodo. And he was just kind of like saying, you know, what? he's basically just saying, you know, what what's the one similarity and stuff like that. It was a really confusing one. And he went on to say, also it is confirmed the star in the uh, is the enemy and Ku said that the flag is a new system and you can think how many types has all types equals 18 different crystals. My theory is that you need a fire crystal to enter this test as an open world the possibilities are endless. So again, this could just be one of the flags um, and there could be like a red flag, a blue flag, a green flag and stuff like that for all of the different like 
crystal um, typing. So what they're basically saying here is that you need like the red crystal to be able to enter this kind of uh, mission or whatever it is. Now we know this is like an evil team symbol, um, but yeah, maybe the evil team is um, kind of all to do with the crystals and everything like that. We've had loads of different evil team kind of speculation from like bullies in the school to like uh, obviously an actual evil team trying to take over the world and stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe it's just simply the fact that you need the crystal to fight and, and this this new like evil team is revolving around these crystals or something like that. Because he said the flag uh, is a new system, though I haven't teased anything about it yet. You could also guess how many types that thing is going to have, lot. Um, so again, he could be referencing how many types this uh, flag is, and it could just simply be like a type for all the different um, things. Because this is clearly like fire here, and obviously it's a red background. So this obviously has something to do with fire. So maybe it is just simply something to do with all like the different crystals and stuff that you can find. But either way, I'm sure in the next trailer, if we see a few of the flags and they're different colored, then that kind of makes a lot more sense. And maybe the evil team is all about um, that kind of situation. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Uh, let's try and hit 500 likes. Again, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on um, this new information? Do you think... When do you think we're going to get the next trailer? I'm saying next week. I'm saying next Tuesday or Wednesday. We might get an announcement for it on Monday and then obviously get the trailer on Tuesday or an announcement for it on Tuesday and get the trailer on Wednesday or an announcement for it on Wednesday and get the trailer on Thursday. You get what I mean? But next week seems very, very likely. Uh, but yeah, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And until next time, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and peace.